Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got a really cute little card to show you today that features the new Elephant Parade from the 2022 to 2023 annual Stampin' Up! catalog. I love these little guys. They're just adorable. Um, and I love to color with my Stampin' Blends, so that's uh, how we're going to color him and the balloon today. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you is this really fun die called Spots and Dots. And we're going to cut a piece of petal pink cardstock using that die. It's a really, really cool die. All right, let's start with our stamping. I am using thick basic white. And I'm going to stamp both the elephant and the balloon in memento white. Uh, memento black. <laughs> I don't think there is such a thing as memento white. Memento black ink. All right, we're going to use smoky slate for our little elephant. And I'm gonna start with the light and I'm just gonna color the bottom part of his body first and then I'll move up to the top part. I like to kind of work in smaller sections. That way my ink doesn't completely dry before I want to add in some shading. All right, so a little bit of light and then I'm gonna come over here with my dark and I'm gonna add in some dark this way, kind of at an angle, okay? And then I'm gonna blend that down like that. So it looks kind of like his, his neck, his head has created a shadow. All right, so now we're gonna do this part. I'm using the bullet tip end of my marker. I feel like I have a little bit better control when I use that end as opposed to the brush end, which is good for big spaces. Of course, everybody has a different preference. So play around with yours and see which one you like best. Now I'm gonna go pretty light down the center of his forehead like this, because that's kind of where that light would be shining. I'm gonna take my color lifter and just kind of blend those colors together. We'll see, I may need to add a little bit more. Oh, I think that looks pretty good. All right, now I'm gonna take the light here again and just do this outside edge of his ear like that. And now on the end side of his ear, I'm gonna take petal pink light and just add in some cute little pink there in his ears. I'm also gonna take a little bit and just put a little dots there on his cheeks. Isn't he adorable? All right, now I'm gonna grab my light pool party and I'm gonna color in this balloon. Like that, I'm gonna take my dark and put a little bit of a shadow down here like this. All right, and now we'll take the light again and pull that up blending it all together. Okay, and I'm gonna take my color lifter again and just add a little bit right here to kind of give it a shine. Okay, I think that is good. Now let's bring over our cut and emboss machine. This set has coordinating dies, so there's no fussy cutting. Got all the dies. It's got some great accessory dies too, like a little bow and some peanuts, which I'm going to use on another project. Make sure you check them all out here on YouTube. You know what? I just noticed I did not color in. Let's see if I can do that right there, that little dot. All right. Now, this die has a little dot right here. You want to wiggle it around until you see that balloon string lining up in there. Okay, now very carefully lay your top clear plate down and run it through. Oh, look at that, perfect. All right, now before we move this cut and emboss machine out, let's bring over our piece of petal pink and our spots and dots die. This piece is three and three fourths by five. There's a free PDF on my blog. If you click the link here on YouTube, that will take you back over to my blog. 
that has all the measurements and the full supply list. All right, let's check it out. Very nice. Now you've got all this little confetti, which is really fun too. Make a great shaker card. Okay, let's start putting things together. I am using DSP from the Design a Daydream Designer Series Paper Pack. It's a stamp and rewards option you can get for free when you spend over $150. So I used this side originally, but I'm wondering if I like that side better. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try this, this side. All right, a little bit of stamp and seal. And now I'm gonna grab my mini dimensionals and I'm just gonna put, I'm gonna scatter them through here. We don't want them to show. So I'm gonna strategically place them where they won't be seen in between the dots. I think that's probably enough. And we'll put that right there. All right, so I've got our little elephant and ahead of time, I cut out a heart and a little label. Oh, you know what we forgot to cut out? Let's do that really quickly. We forgot to cut out the little petal pink bow, which is one of the accessory dies here in the set. We'll do that real quick. This one right here, it's tiny. So let's bring back over our cut and emboss machine and get all those dots out of here. Put that on there, it's very tiny. You don't wanna lose it. Make sure you've got a safe place to put your small dies. I have lost more small dies than I care to admit, unfortunately. I'm pretty bad about that. Okay, so now we've got that little, that little bow. Let's bring everything back over. We're gonna take regular dimensionals this time. And we're gonna start with our cute little elephant. And we put them kind of down here towards the bottom. And let's see, maybe we, yeah, I think we could use a, a big dimensional down towards the bottom of the balloon. And I'm gonna put it so that his little nose, his little snout is, is holding that. For the bow, I'm gonna put a tiny dot of glue and I'm gonna lay that down right there, okay? Now I'm gonna grab either linen thread or some crumb cake twine. This is crumb cake twine. I'm gonna double it up and I'm gonna tie a bow using both pieces as one. Okay, and I want it to be kind of big and loose like that. We're gonna put this behind the heart. Okay, so let's grab, I think a glue dot would be good. And it's kind of messy, we'll, we'll arrange, arrange it so that it looks good. Like that, get those little legs to come down. All right, there we go. Now I'm gonna take a dimensional and stick a dimensional right on top of it. That's gonna help hold it in place. And I'll put another one right here so we have enough adhesive on our on our little heart. All right, let's stamp our sentiment in Pool Party on this cute little label. This says, sweet little one. This is a great baby card. And we're just gonna put this over here kind of next to him, overlapping like that. Okay, now what about the inside of our card? I have a piece of basic white, and I think I'm gonna stamp the little peanut because the little peanut is just so cute. I'm gonna stamp it a couple of times in crumb cake, like that, okay? And then we will put it on the inside of our card and 
And there you have it. Very cute little baby card. These elephants are just adorable. I think any of them would make a great baby card. All right, now make sure you click the link here on YouTube, hop back over to my blog, grab that free PDF, and check out my other two elephant parade projects. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.